Hello, Nomads Cult and with version 2.2 there's a new material, Shadow Catcher material. Okay, so in, you find it here um, in the material menu. So here is the Shadow Catcher material. Okay, so at the moment there is no shadow. So for a shadow, you need a light. So first add a light here and I make my light visible. So you see here the shadow of the light. So um, here you see um, a sharp contoured shadow and I soften this shadow a, li a little bit. So, so that's it, a little bit blurry. And okay, so and you can rotate the light and the shadow yeah, rotates with the light here. Okay, so now when you select now this plane and change the material to shadow catcher, the plane disappears, only the shadow stays there. So you only get the shadow here. And yeah, for what do you need this? So, <laughs> okay, so one thing I show you here is um, when you render your image here and use, um, use here the transparent background feature here, the checkbox, and you export it. So you see here, everything is black and here is a shadow somewhere. So I save it now. Save image. Okay, so I go now in a, in a painting app like Procreate. And I add now a, a blank canvas. So I change the background color. So now I import the, the rendered image. So now here you see, yeah, now the shadow is uh, in the transparent uh, image. So, so the shadow is rendered. So the shadow catcher thing is, um, yeah, for such things here uh, to get the shadow on the transparent background. Okay, so another nice thing is here, um, when you use here, maybe inside from Nomad's Cult, a reference image. So this is a, a 2D image, so there's no uh, flaw in, in real, uh, here in the in the image and now it's possible to to place here the um, the shadow here on the floor and render this image so when you so not transparent so i use now so now you see the render image has a shadow here on the floor of the background image. So you can play a little with it. With it. So, okay. So that's this. And, okay. So the next thing is um, for the shadow catcher material is so I delete this and I add a new plane. So, and now when you press here shadow catcher, so you can read here the, the thing here, uh, make the object checked uh, complete transparent and so on. And when I press here, um, you see here metalness. 
and metalness 0%. And also a, a color uh, option here. You can change here the color of the shadow. Like this. And you can change the opacity. And here's the metalness thing here. When you press here metalness 100%, um, you see here nothing. And that's because you have to activate post processing. So press post processing. And here you see here now uh, such a reflection here. So when you rotate the thing here, there's um, such a, a reflection of the object here. So I, I change here the, um, the color. So paint all. So here you see the re reflection of the um, yeah, shadow catcher material. And here, this SSR checkbox, um, when you deselect it, then it disappears. So you have to use this checkbox here in combination to see the, uh, the re reflection on the shadow catcher material. I hope. <laughs> yeah, it's not my best English and I try to explain it. So, okay. So, so where is it? So, shadow catcher material, I select it here. So, and okay, this is the metalness thing. And you also can change it um, manually. So, when you select here the, the, the plane here, the shadow catcher plane, and you change here, for example, the metalness setting. So maybe so something like this here and press paint all. Then you see here the reflection and the shadow. So this is the metalness thing. Uh, the more metalness, 100% and uh, zero. So you can switch a little bit between the two and paint all. So, yeah, you have to play with it. And um, here, so see other tutorials on um, shadow catcher materials. So maybe for Blender or uh, maybe ZBrush or something. Um, here you find more information about this. Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting and ciao.